If okay, this is my top eight deck profile video for nights that I took to the spring circuit, it came in eight place or six place. I'm out of all. Okay, so the buddy is Dancing Magician Tetsuya. Um, he's been the buddy since I started playing Dungeon World. He, when he links type with Avenger, it gets double attack. So, of course, we start off with four of the buddy. Um, this card is just really good because it lets you restand uh, any item or your impact monster or any of your regular monsters on the board. So it just gives you that extra attack to rush them down with. Tech one of this, this is uh, Cop Price Life Naboru. Um, if I have an item equipped, he gets an extra critical. And if, it, and if I have too many attacks alone, uh, it can't be nullified. This card came in clutch in one of my matches. It uh, gave me it gave the three crit game uh, for win and the opponent couldn't do nothing about it. This card is just a tech card. I have two Knight of Glory El Quixote. Um, this card is uh, one of the good ones with the combos with Tetsuya because when he link attacks, his crit stacks. So when he link attacks with an adventure, it gets an extra crit. Um, if I have an item equipped, it gets an extra gauge and penetrate. Uh, we attack one Re Revolution Knight Rebellion. Uh, so I pay gauge. When he enters the field, you destroy a little size one or less on the board. And then if you have two equipped, you destroy a size two. Um, this card just lets you get rid of annoying cards on the left on the field that you can't uh, they keep protecting with their shield. Uh, we play next is two uh, Deity Age Envoy Michaelis. Um, if you have an item equipped, when he enters, when he enters the field, you return three to the bottom of uh, three cards from your drops onto the bottom of the deck to destroy any monster on the board. Uh, this is that you reset, uh, you reuse your uh, mission cards, Shalvanas, and whatever else you need. Next is one of the MVPs on the deck, uh, Mysterious Fortune Teller Sophia. Uh, you pay a gauge, when she enters, you can discard a card to search for any set spell. Uh, she also has the built-in ability, of, she can notify all abilities of a monster that's in battle with her. So that means if they attack her, you can chain pillar of fire and there's no way for them, uh, their soul guard is nullified. So if like a ball attacks her, a ball to soleil, you can uh, pay a gauge and destroy it with pillar of fire and then their soul guard doesn't activate. And she just nullifies everything's ability and her ability can't be nullified. We, we take one, uh, Triumphant Knight, El Quixote. Uh, pay gauge, he gets a soul. Um, if I have an item equipped, he gets move. And then if I have two, he gets critical plus one. Um, he's just a way to protect your life. And uh, he has the three credits really strong when you're doing the rush down with Tetsu. Next is one of the MVPs of the deck, Knight of Baptism. Or Baptism Knight Camille. When he enter, if you have an item equipped, when he enters, you get to search for another item. And when he attacks, if you have two equipped, you gain gauge. Uh, this is just a real good card uh, for gauging and start to get some pieces for the your play. Next, we uh, we do uh, three El Quixote Golden Age. This card is one of so many games at the uh, at the regional. He uh, when he enters, he he pays. So you pay three gauge, put this on top of a knight, and then when he enters, you stand. Uh, during the final phase, you stand up to two cards with a uh, weapon in their attribute, and they can attack during the final phase. He also has penetrate. He will let you restand the Bestia and the uh, Esclamaz, which you can just reuse their abilities again. It's, this card is uh, it's clutch uh, coming in uh, to final, uh, come in at the end of the game, late game or mid game. Uh, we play one Re rebellious rebellion rhapsody. Um, you have to have two items with the call and pay two gauge. He has penetrate and for each item on the board, eight, on your or your opponent, he gets an extra crit. So in the mirror match, this card is really strong because he'll basically go up to six crit with penetrate, and his stats are six two five. Uh, and then we take one dead end crush. This card won us our the final round against uh, Baldur's Lake deck because uh, it can't be nullified. Uh, you pay two if you have an adventure and a weapon on the board. You deal three damage to the opponent. It can't be nullified. Uh, it's just this game slight card against what it did back in the day. Onto items we, and this this is where my build is different than others. I played two uh, Eskimos, two Beasties. Two Ice Tiger and two Blitz Tiger. So when you have them two equipped together, uh, when this link attacks with a knight, it pings them for one damage automatically. When this link attacks uh, it, with another knight, it, it destroys a monster or an item. 
and then if this you have this one equipped, this gets plus four thousand, and it has built-in penetrate. And then, then when this uh, lands, if you have the other one, he gets uh, plus three cram. Plus one cram. Sorry. So my thing is, is that my, when. Uh, on one of the videos recently, there was somebody that commented it saying I should stop playing these two. But I, in this deck, this is this is my preferred lineup because it gives me the versatility that I want. Others play just this or just this. I like this because I'm vers it's versatile for me. Um, and you know, I just if you're giving me, I like when people give me opinions, but I just want them to respond why they think that because I don't think this is a bad combo because it obviously it worked out for me because I came in top eight. And I feel like my build is just this build. This ratio is right for me. Uh, onto spells, three pillar of fire. Uh, the pay one gauge. Can't you can only cast if you don't have a monster in the center. Destroy, destroy a monster with six thousand or less. This just rid you of annoying the cards on the board. It's a, uh, the great defensive spell. Uh, four shells on a pay a gauge, notify the attack, uh, gain a life. This card just saves you from uh, certain things that you can't block, and it can also protect your monster. Uh, we play two Glacius Defense Wall. Uh, this is good early on. You pay a life, notify the attack, five or less, you gain a gauge. This just helps with your gauge and, and your bond to protect you from damage. Uh, we play two Golden Treasure Mark. This card is one of the clutches, latest cards I've ever seen. Um, it lets you, so when you're at six or less life, you know the top card. If it's a spell, you gain a gauge and draw, if, and then you draw equal to, if it's a monster, draw equal to its size. Once per turn, this card just helps you get out of trouble. I remember playing this and drawing into Golden Age and Camille and, and giving me the game. <laughs> Of course, something that should be in every deck. Four mission card, former party. You search for any, uh, you play it, then when another mission card enters the field, search for any uh, venture card and add it to your hand and gain a life. Uh, two mission card teamwork. Uh, when you link attack with an adventure, uh, put a card under its stack. Uh, once you hit two, you add one to hand, put one into the gauge, and you gain a life. Mission card Nazaro Hot Spring. Uh, when an adventure is destroyed, uh, you can add up to two back to your hand from the drop zone. This just helps you get the pieces you need. Uh, two Naboru Kodos. Um, you get to choose one of the following effects. You gain gauge equal to the knight on the board. Gain the life. This just helps you uh, with life or gauge, whichever one you need the most right now. And then side deck. For our side deck, we play two hidden crossbow. Um, just monster removal. Uh, just extra monster removal. Uh, one more pillar of fire. Just because of just like I said, monster removal, keeping our stuff on board. Uh, and then the main one of the best side deck cards in the game: barbed wire, rest an item on your opponent's field, rest dragon fours, rest. Uh, you're, if you're in the mirror match, rest theirs. Uh, two rolling stone uh, for zodiac uh, matchups. Uh, uh, Baldi to layers, uh, just anything like that, and then three questions of cast uh Next time you be dealt damage, reduce it by three. Just another defensive card. Um, so this is my top eight dungeon world uh, deck. Night deck. Uh, it'll be uploaded probably Monday, so you'll be seeing this Monday. Um, the deck's really good. I mean, it's fun. It's just you just be aggressive or control and depending on how you want to play. Um, so that's you know, and then you should also be uh, coming up the same day. Uh, you should see my tournament review, which is coming up. So stay tuned for that.